The glacial periods of the past led to large parts of northern Europe and North America being covered with huge ice sheets, most recently 21,000 years ago. Now we will look at whether glacial periods like these occurred more frequently in the past. We can use climate archives for this purpose. Ocean floor sediments are an example of this. This is a core from the Central Atlantic. The sediments show color sequences. And before we even ask what this has to do with glacial periods, let's look at an animation to see how such sediment is formed and what information it stores. In this graphic, we can see a representative section of a continental margin. The sea surface is at the top. At this point, I would like to remind you that the average ocean depth is 3.8 kilometers and that we obtain the sediments we are talking about from several kilometers of water depth. Let's start with a warm climate condition, with lush vegetation on land. We are interested in organisms that live close to the ocean surface and on and within the ocean floor. These organisms store environmental information, for example, in their calcareous shells, which they built to live in. When these organisms die, the calcareous shells sink to the ocean floor, where they remain unchanged and store environmental information and climate information. Now let's switch from an interglacial period to a glacial period. A large ice sheet rather than vegetation covers the land and sea level is lower since a lot of water has gone into the ice. The organisms currently living in the water store the information that there is now a glacial period. Now in the case of a succession of glacial and interglacial periods, sequences of such sediments are deposited in the ocean floor over time, gathering information about the changing environment. In order to access this information, we need to obtain samples from the ocean floor. And to do this, we can use a drill rig, for example. Behind me, you can see a, the Bremen Seafloor Drill Rig MIBU 200, which we can deploy in the ocean at a water depth of up to 2.7 kilometers and remotely control from a research vessel to drill up to 200 meters into the ocean floor. The drilling itself is carried out through the opening that you can see at the center of the drill rig. When in operation on the ocean floor, it stands vertically, but here in storage, it lies horizontally. We are now at the Bremen Core Repository, where we store the drilled ocean floor sediments at 4 degrees Celsius. We do this so that the core samples don't dry out, since some are already quite old and should be available for analyzing for many decades to come. Let's take a closer look at one of them now. This is a core from the Central Atlantic. It is approximately 11 meters long, covering the last 600,000 years. We are, if you will, 11 meters below the ocean floor and we'll walk along the core towards the ocean floor through the sedimentary layer, so to speak. We can now see that the core has different colors. It is very light in some parts and has very dark layers in others. Through a series of analyses, we have established that these dark layers are glacial periods and the light layers interglacial periods. The ocean surface would be up here. Generally, we can see that there have been several glacial and interglacial periods in the past 600,000 years. 